Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. You should probably get the hang of it then, huh? That, my friend, is called a cat treat. Hmm. <laughs> Sam, less weird bear, more cat. <laughs> Better, now stretch! <laughs> Stay in the moment. Think feline. Meow. <laughs> hey, you two! Bug up! Catnam is for real cats! Ah, I'm a real cat. Don't! The point is, I should be able to have one thing in this house that's mine. Is that too much to ask? Hi, you guys. Uh, hi, guys. Hi, what? It's our birthday. Again? We're having a party Tuesday night. Our lady goes to bingo on Tuesday. We'd love to huh? come. Sorry, only Vic made the guest list. Congratulations, Vic! We don't even like each other. True, but we need more indoor pets with proper training for this party. It's going to be 50% fancier this year. And we're having sheet cake. Party entertaining. Okay, I'll come to your fet or whatever, but <laughs> they come too. We're a package deal. Huh? <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam, we're about to taste frosting. I hope it's purple. Um, no way are you coming near our cake. Oh, okay, <gasps> bye. Yeah. Come on, you guys. Away. <laughs> Let them come. More presents, Fluff. Fine. But you'll all be kicked out before kick. And if you make a mess, act like dorks, or bring an unawesome present. <gasps> no sweat, kitten mittens. I'm going to prep them myself. Get set to be charmed. Yay! <laughs> You've been attending these fancy pet parties for years. You're really going to share your inside tips with us? Goop hug! Oops. Thank you, Vic! We're gonna have sheet cake! Do we get presents, too? What about ice cream? Settle! <gasps> you have much to learn before sheet cake. Ready? And lift! Yeah. Well done, Eugenie. Okay, good. Eugenie, Suze, how about you two go find the perfect present for Nugs and Fluff? We'd love to! Yes, please! <laughs> Master, come on! <laughs> Who would love that? I did the proof 
Tim Cat sound. More glamorous. Or is it? How about the bedazzled litter box? Too personal. The winner gets extra birthday cake! Yeah. <laughs> Victoria! You okay? You know what? None of those gifts were snazzy enough for Nugget and Fluffy. I know, but where are we going to find Pierre Class? <laughs> Thanks, Sam. Yes, a minute. It's almost done. Ta -da! Okay, so you want to play. You two are now the perfect guests. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's party time. Even more boring than last year. And that already was quite a challenge. I hope you love it. Well, it sounds perfect. Uh... <laughs> For you, neighbors. Oh, we'll take that. Get up! Box, which smells like uh, sidewalk. No, it's a throne, a beautiful throne. Sure, it could use a paint job. Take it away, get it out of here. <laughs> we hate our present. <laughs> what about the cake? The girls, quick, go find a new present. What? <laughs> Got this. You just enjoy. This is your day. Are we not gentlemen? Ah! Are you guys nuts? Our lady will be home soon. But it's your birthday. It's customary. Fix it. Huh? Ah! Please, we just want to.
Let's go! No! This is all your fault, Victoria. It was just a little joke to spice up your boring party. <gasps> You owe us a present. Well, good night, you two. Good night. These carriers are breaking my arms. You two are going on a diet. Sorry about the fuss. Fighting with the neighbors, ending up in the pound. What has gotten into you, Vic? Oh, come on, dear. Let's go to bed. My party days are officially over. Good night, Sam. Good night, Dick. <laughs>